Today we are reviewing the Chief's Son Single Malt Whiskey. Hi, I'm Jo. This is Maxima. We are tipples and treats. Today we have a whiskey that was purchased on a boy's weekend away. It was, Jo. It certainly was. Hence the bag. Well, it's sort of a gift it's bag. Not a box. No, it's a gift bag. Gift bag purchased in person. That's right. From the distillery, which is uh, the Chief Sun. Now, the Chief Sun um, uh, is located in Somerville in Victoria's Mornington Peninsula. So it's about an hour and a bit drive south of Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably now in 15 minutes drive south. Um, it was really great to see the distillery and I was there with um, a few close friends and we had a whiskey tasting. We probably tasted about uh, six or seven whiskies and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So there's a video of that uh, whiskey review that's probably out by now. Mm -hmm. uh, but this particular bottle was the one that I actually purchased. Um, and it wasn't part of that review, so this okay. was sort of tried. You tasted it? I, I did taste it, but I didn't capture the, yep, the, the tasting on video, so I thought, well, we can celebrate the, um, the tasting uh, today with, with my beloved. Mm -hmm. And tell me, Maximo. Yes. How much was this? Uh, it was, it was a, a, a little bit expensive. But in fairness to me, right, the Sweet Pete is a very, very special release. It's release six of barrel 172, and this is bottle 33 uh, of 35. Anyone can write lots and numbers on their bottles. Yes. What makes it special? It's, um, it's a barrel-proof Scotch whiskey, so... Um, what what happens is that you get a uh, the best barrel of of that that particular um, uh, distillation process is sampled and that is selected and put aside, and and basically the the contents of that barrel is then bottled. So generally speaking, a lot of the whiskies um, um, aren't uh, barrel strength or uh, you know they 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 um, taken from the barrel and there's distilled water added to them to dilute them. So this, this particular um, example is 60% alcohol or 120 proof. So um, generally speaking, the other whiskies from the Chief Sun um, are reduced to around sort of 45%. So mm -hmm. that, that's um, achieved by adding distilled water. And, and two things happen. Obviously, you can get more whiskey from a barrel by adding water to it and diluting it. Mm. So that sort of drives the, the cost of the, uh, of, of the bottle. And this particular example was around about um, $280 Australian, which is quite expensive, but um, I tasted it and I uh, really liked it. Mm. I'm interested that it's sweet peat. Yeah. So I'm not a fan of peat. No, and uh, I was actually there and got to, to smell the, 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 um, the, the barley or hops or whatever they use, um, whatever grain it is they use, I, I, I'm having a lapse. But actually got to taste the, uh, uh, smell the, um, the grain and mm -hmm. it, it is uh, peated grain imported from Scotland. Um, so that's what makes it a little bit um, special. I.e. expensive. Well, that's... Special and expensive are, go uh, hand in hand. They do, don't they? Yes. So I'm quite eager to uh, to sample this now that we're at home in the comfort of our own um, home. Do you need any assistance? Mm. Or oh, oh, it's a nice uh, pop to that. It's it's quite a very intense. Uh, it's very dark in the bottle. Yeah, it is. It's been finished in Madeira um, uh, casks, which is uh, I think it's a. Um, um, a Spanish um, yep. um, sherry. Yep. So it's quite a, a rich sort of tobacco-y colour. Quite, uh, quite intense. Um, 
woody. I can. Yeah, woody, yes. Um, sort of old, old, you know, old sort of oak. There's only a, a subtle sort of um, smell of peat. It's yeah, not really. I don't smell intense. the peat yet. It, it's quite sort of warm, toffee, vanilla. Um, that's what I'm getting. It, it, it's quite an enticing nose, isn't it? It's like, it's saying, drink me, drink me. <laughs> um, every time you smell it, you have a tendency to pick up something different, don't you? I know, it's quite, uh, it's quite intense and uh, complex, isn't it? Shall we give it a go? Oh. It's scared about drinking something so high in alcohol. Mm. It's it's quite warming, isn't it? It's it's warming. It's got a very long and smooth finish. Um, you wouldn't think that this is sixty percent alcohol. I mean, it's strong. Yeah, it's strong. It's strong, but but it's not like you know, uh, uh, <coughs> you know, not knock your socks off sort of strong. It's it's. What I found, I um, sometimes I, with the tasting. Well, I think most often, actually, it's hard to remember what you do when you taste, but I swish that around my mouth quite a bit. And while it was swishing, I couldn't taste a lot. But once you swallow it, yes, it, 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 it explodes. It, it does. And <clears throat> then you can taste the peat, for sure. You, you can, but it, it's subtle. It's not really, like, in your face. It, it's definitely peaty, but it's not, not offensive in any way. It's not really that strong. I just don't like that tastes so much. It's got quite a peaty uh, lingering finish. Oh yeah, I can still it's, taste it. You can taste the honey. Um, I need to have another go. You do? That so much happened when I... There is. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's big, isn't it? It's big. <laughs> but, but it's definitely sweet. The first taste you get is that sweetness, hence the, the name sweet peat, I guess. And I guess the reason I got this particular bottle rather than uh, the the forty five percent bottle is that the the because it's less diluted the flavours are more intense. Oh my God, I felt like it was the aromas were coming out my nose then and started to sting. <laughs> All right, so I'll. Uh, I'm, I'm not sold on it yet. Maybe the um, maybe the magic ice will. will do, do something its for trick. it. Yeah. Did they uh, give you any hints and tips about drinking it with and without ice? No, I think uh, whiskey is to be uh, savoured with your preferred sort of method mm. of drinking. Like I, I uh, like it with ice. Um, some people like it with water, others like it neat, but I like it with ice. It tends to smoothen, um, smoothen the whiskey and maybe release some of the uh, soluble oils. Mm. Uh, and maybe make it a little bit less peppery so yeah we've let that melt for a bit so the concoction here is probably about 55 percent alcohol now it's got down the nose a bit <coughs> i think it's i think it's you don't like it i think it's uh, I think it's um, cut down the spice. I think it's intensified the smoke a bit, hasn't it? It's brought out the smoke. So, so Joe, I don't think you liked that well, very much at all, did you? Um, we had a little, little cut there because that made me cough. Quite violently. Quite badly. Yes. So I'm not sure whether it's the 60% alcohol. Oh, I don't know. Or the, um, but needless to say, you're not a fan. I don't think this one's for you, Joe. It was quite a violent reaction, really. It was. It was. Yeah. yeah. From my side of the fence, I'm, <coughs> like I, I clearly bought this because I liked it, but um, with with ice, it's, it's really, it's sweet, it's peaty, mm. it's rich. Um, it's it's quite smooth. It's certainly strong in the alcohol. Mm. Um, I really like this. I think this will be um, a scotch that I um, have for special occasions. 
Um, and it's a scotch that should be best avoided by you, I think, Joe. Keep it away from me. Yeah, so this has been, um, this has been, um, well, it hasn't been a revelation. It's been a confirmation that I bought uh, the right bottle for me. And, um, yeah, in terms of you. It's a little tickle in my throat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I've taken your glass away and I've actually... Put it into yours? Yes. So, cheers to me, I guess. Cheers. And if you've liked this, uh, <laughs> and assuming Joe's still uh, kicking for the, for the next review, please hit the like and subscribe yeah. button. And I'd love to know if you've ever had a really strong reaction to alcohol like that. Indeed, um, yes. I don't think I ever had, ever, in my life. No, it was only like a couple of sips. It's not like, you know... You, I think you, it was the, the sip with the ice. I don't know whether I just breathed in the fumes finally or... I mean, it is strong. It's very strong. So, yes, hit the like and subscribe and, and leave your comments. And on that um, surprising note, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>